I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, he's Mike, and I'm just really, really sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is one of the most requested themes from you ever. We are a James Down today because he's got he's a runny bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Dodgy tummy, I was going to say. Janice, what's our theme? Today's theme is kitchen gadgets. Ooh, yay! Oh, I don't surprise, understand how, surprise. how. How is that a theme for cooking? After each person has had their turn, they must select a kitchen gadget previously featured on Sorted that the next player must use. Must use. Do we have an order? And there's still only four of us. Double trouble rules apply. One of you must go first and last. Today, that person is... Lol. Jamie. No! Oh, no! Why? No. Yes. The boys will individually spend 10 minutes in the kitchen contributing to a collective dish. Once their time is up, they will pass it on to the next person who has no idea what has happened previously. Once everyone has had a turn, the collaborative creation is then revealed to the group. My first 10 minutes is mainly going to be made up of organising everything that I want to happen. I think I want to make the ultimate pork chorizo burger chips slaw. We can have an egg which we can, we can turn into like an aioli type of thing. We've got an aioli maker back there. Um, slaw, chips. This is really tough because we're a chef down and we're, well, we're two spaffs up. So we are at two distinct disadvantages. Get them into there. Important thing about caramelising onions, it's got to be really low for a long time, so this should give them a good amount of time to get going. Butter. <gasps> Is that a potato peeler? That's a potato peeler. It's electric. This one peels potatoes, right? I'm going to make that into chips now. Look at how ridged it is. Oh, yeah, look at these chips. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right, these are going to here. I'm going to need some oil, oil, oil. Right, they're not going to need the full time, so I might just leave those on the side into the bowl. It's going to go some pork mince. I think that's pork mince. It's lamb mince. And we're also going to now wash my hands. So if I can cut this open. Well, it hasn't really got a skin on it like I wanted. <laughs> right, how long have we got left? One minute, ten seconds. Done. I went in a good direction, solid start. I'm going to have to rate myself now and then possibly delete my rating when it gets to the end. So I'm going to give myself middle of the road, a little bit higher, 6.23. And the gadget that I've chosen for Ben to use next it's the mayonnaise maker. <laughs> Okie dokie, okie dokie. I'm guessing they need to go into an oven because I'm not going to cook any other way unless we deep fry them, but that's probably not best. He's left me th Ooh, this. I, I wasn't privy to this particular gadget, so I haven't actually used it before. He's also left me chorizo. Fairly predictable, but a good flavour. I'm going to get some fat out of these chorizo. I've never used this. I don't know how to use this. I'm not sure that's the wisest play from Jamie. It's easy to communicate, for sure, but I feel like what I should be doing is something more timely, like cooking some mints. But we'll go his way. Black pepper, salt. I should have looked at this before I took it apart. There we go. No, oh. I could have made mayonnaise by now by the time I've worked out how to use this thing. This is ridiculous. Half regular oil, half olive oil. The seasoning is in there. And then as you push the button, it slowly drip feeds this in. 
ideally the chorizo fat will go in there as well. Has he seasoned any of this? No. Lamb and chorizo, a nice combination, so it is going to work. Do we want anything else in there? I mean, I'm surprised Jamie hasn't... He's left the chilli out. I'm going to add a little bit in. Heavy on salt, some fresh herbs. The pan is now hot, so what we can do is do some smash burgers and cook it in the same pan as the chorizo. Once we've taken the chorizo oil out for that, I've got three and a half minutes left, not a huge amount. This is how we want to cook the burger. So that is going to clamp it and then go into a microwave. And what would also be nice is some strips of courgette because I think the burger's going to need something in it other than just meat and mayo. Courgette going into the pan in some of that chorizo fat. This is ridiculous. Time up. They'll get the hint, right? I'm still going to give myself five and a half, and the gadget that I've chosen for Barry to use is the microwavable burger patty thing. Ooh. Okay, okay, right. Interesting. Straight away, Chorizo's out, Jamie's been here. We've been here last, really? A hob's been left on. Who's been here? Barry? So I'm making burgers in a, I'm making burgers in a microwave. Before I make my burger, I'm gonna use the gadget. I'm gonna chop up some mushroom and get them fried off in a pan. Mushroom's going in. To use this gadget, you had to put it in the microwave for three minutes to heat up. Burger feels like it's well formed. Wait a minute, that's been off the heat. Was that meant to be on that hob? Oh crap. Let's put that back on, burger. And all you have to do is take your burger, lay it onto the scalding hot pan, pop that on top, and then back into the microwave. Crap, how long was it going in the microwave for? I'm guessing four minutes in the microwave to cook the burger, but I have no idea. This is reheating these lovely aubergines. Courgettes, they're courgettes, they're not aubergines, I just realised. We got some cheese. The cheese. Oh crap, time's up. I'll give myself a four. Four for microwaving a burger. I love an egg in a burger. It's a bit out there, but for me it's a finishing touch. Mike cannot poach eggs. Luckily, I'm leaving him with some of these handy pouches. He's gonna hate me. You do you. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, it's messy. Oh! <laughs> Great. I feel like I've been left the poached eggs bag because I don't know how to make poached eggs. We've got some aubergine in here. We've got some courgette in here. Oh, are we making chips? They're pretty well done. Maybe that's salvageable. They're not anything to do with me. What are we making? Oh no! Burgers. They've left me like literally enough for one burger. And I don't know what this is. Is it pork? So I feel like that's not enough mince. Oh, I could ruin this. No, I'm going for it. Screw it. Screw it. I'm gonna give it a little bit of extra seasoning because I've added some stuff. Right, let's make some patties. So smash burgers, sizzle. I don't know what these are. I'm glad they're nothing to do with me because I wouldn't be proud of them. When you heat up! I think I wait for that to get up to poaching and then I crack it in and then I just leave it. We'll do this anyway. Come on, heat up! Five, four, three, two, I have to use the gadget. And it's in. I'm gonna score myself a three. Because that was bad. And I'm going to choose Jamie the pineapple cora because I feel like we need some sort of fruity slaw. Quick. Oh, don't be like that. Okay. Right. Burgers. Yes. This is what I wanted. Right. Okay. Chips are not great. Decent. Decent. How long has that egg been poaching for? Ah. Oh, mmm. Uh, let's get this out of the way. A 
think you put it in here and then you get give it a spin and then it cuts you some nice little pineapple rings ah, amazing i could not have cut a pineapple quicker than that yes yes boy slight issue with the gadget it just leaves you with coils oh my goodness why is that so foamy <laughs> uh, seven minutes. I think. Strange. <laughs> There's no way I can this burger. Right. Let's get these burgers out. They look pretty much done. And now it should really be more of a construction jobby. Who the put courgette in a burger? Microwave keeps beeping. Why is the microwave beeping? Oh no, somebody's cooked burgers in the microwave. There's one burger. There's one burger. Get our burger buns toasted in fat. Yes, boy. Oh, F this. I should have cooked the cheese. Right, melt. <laughs> have to serve these chips up because. We have nothing else. Spaff! Some of this on the top of, oh you piece of shh. These courgettes have got Evers written all over them. They really have. My previous rating was 6.23. I'm gonna downgrade that to a 5.97. I feel like I lost a little bit. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? Oh. Given the flavours that I know that I put in there, to see cheese and pineapple appear. No, you think like a bad. 70s dinner party. <laughs> I thought pork and chorizo burger would be really nice. I'm interested to know where you put the pork mince. In the bowl. Because I was left lamb mince. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> so first thing I did was preheat the microwave griddle thing. Stuck that into the microwave for three minutes to get it hot. Big burger. Oh no. Oh, I didn't think I did that badly. <laughs> so whilst it's in the microwave, I also got some mushrooms on the go. I thought that could be a nice component to mix into the mayonnaise or put on top. I wasn't thinking pineapple. No, the only thing there that I thought would add to this burger, egg. Because... So, so it's mushrooms and egg that haven't made it to the table. Yep. <laughs> yep. So... Did you hear the beep of the microwave? No. I did not check in the microwave. So your mushrooms, your egg, and your burger didn't make it to the table. <laughs> well, it, well, the good thing about the egg is it's oh now goodness. perfect for a burger in terms of its shape. I, lo I love what Barry said, which is, Mike really struggles to poach eggs, so I'm going to live in these to make it easier. <laughs> I think the pineapple has curdled the cheese, because that smells like vomit. Having to crowbar using a gadget in, cheers guys, was actually really, really difficult. Here we go, here we go. I can't get over that smell. It's weird, I isn't it? I can't eat that. That's not going anywhere in my mouth. What do you mean it smells? It does. No, it's not great. It'll be fine. Cheers. Cheers. That is the saddest one yet. I honestly... The burgers really... are overcooked. The cheese and the pineapple's curdled. The chips are burnt. And the courgettes aren't great either. And weren't meant to be a side dish <laughs> <laughs> or a garnish. It doesn't taste great, to be fair. <laughs> there are key, key lessons here that we can learn, and we'll pass the next one. We will pass the next one. Look at what's already there, and don't feel pressure to make something for the sake of making it. So, it's a resounding fail. What yeah. did we rate ourselves? Oh, no. I started at a 6.23. I gave myself a 3. <laughs> 6.2. Yeah, good start, actually, yeah, fair. A 4. Five and a half. 
I downgraded myself at the end to a 5.97. It's a resounding fail. We all deserve zeros. But we will come again next time. We will do this. We will do this. Usually at this point we'd ask you to rank us out of five, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to know what you've got to say, if I'm honest. Don't comment below. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that you can do, however, is go and watch our reaction video. We've done one before and you really loved it, so we put it live on our channel. It's all of us sitting down and watching each other's performances together for the very first time. You can go and watch that over on YouTube or click the link down below. Not only is there another video, but I, I was so close to giving you a dad joke of the week. I know, well, we'll have to hold off until Sunday, okay. but we will see you there at 4 p.m. and also on other Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Bye-bye. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. I've got a tattoo on my arm that says, cook better together. That was a mistake. Couldn't, that couldn't be any more untrue of this. <laughs> if you know any good laser treatment, then uh, comment below.